What's up? How's it going? My name is Patty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't know me yet, I am a film photographer based in Toronto, but I just don't want to be limited to Toronto. I want to travel the world, but right now I'm in Toronto. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to this video. And today I'm going to be talking about six, six accessories that every photographer should have and accessories that I find very useful and very convenient for my, you know, everyday I guess every day or every photography sessions. So the number one item on my list that is very, very useful that I bring with me everywhere I go, some mother freaking toothbrush. And no, this is not for brushing my teeth. This is actually to brush off the dust and sand off my camera. This is so, so, so useful and convenient. It stays in my camera bag at all times, wherever I go. Uh, I usually shoot at the beach a lot, so this is very useful because no matter how careful you will be, there's gonna be some grain of sand or dust that will find itself on your camera, no matter how careful you'll be. And the best way to brush off those dust or sand on your camera would be the toothbrush. And you know, if you're like somebody like me who, you know, shoots at the beach a lot with models, there's, there's always going to be some sand, uh, so the toothbrush is very, very, very useful and convenient. Now, the number two item that's on my list, which goes hand in hand with the toothbrush, is the rocket blower. This is also good for, you know, blowing dust and sand off your camera, but I use this more so if I want to blow the dust off from the inside of the camera. Like, let's say your sensor, if you want to blow the dust off your sensor, I recommend using the rocket blower rather than just touching the sensor because that will be very, very, very bad. Or even like the glass on, of my camera lenses, I'll just, you know, blow the dust off there. So this is, you know, number two in my list of accessories. So number three in my list of accessories that every photographer should have is rechargeable batteries now this is aimed more towards the film photographers out there uh it's really 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 good to have rechargeable batteries i mean obviously duh like this this should be a common sense thing i mean if you're gonna be somebody that's gonna be a film photographer full-time or you know an enthusiast it's always always good to have rechargeable batteries rather than you know the non-rechargeable ones because you know you, you don't want to waste your money having to buy batteries all the time when you can just you know, just charge these ones when and whenever they're out of power and then you can just use them again. Yes, I understand that non-rechargeable batteries will help your camera perform a lot better. I, I know there's like certain uh, types of batteries out there that are really hard to find like rechargeable versions of. Like I think some of like the CR123 batteries are really hard to find. But honestly, like I find a lot of my, my stuff from eBay. You know, you can there's a lot of trusted sources that you can get from eBay. Anyways, this should be a no-brainer, but I still wanna, you know, put this on my top six list of accessories that photographers should have yeah rechargeable batteries anyways moving on to number four of my six accessories that every photographer should have diffusion filters i have mentioned about diffusion filters a lot throughout my youtube channel and like multiple videos that i have already uploaded i always always use diffusion filters whenever i go out on shoots what diffusion filters do is they soften up your photos or videos um, what they also do is they bloom or create this halation on, you know, any light source, like whether if it's something on a shining object or just, or, you know, directly from the light source itself. I actually have a diffusion filter that's on the lens right now. So I'm just going to take that out so you can see the comparison. So this is with the filter on, filter off, filter on, filter off. You can also stack some of these filters together to, you know, make the effects a lot stronger. All right. So off, on. Notice how like my face looks a lot smoother and pay attention to the to lights in the back as well. Off and on. Anyways, so I'm gonna put this back on. So yeah, like I said, it kind of like smoothens your image, your video. So like on, on a digital camera, it kind of removes that digital sharpness and will create that, you know, cinematic look. And then for film cameras, you know, same thing. It will create that, like that vintage cinematic look from like, a movie from like the 90s however each diffusion filters have different strengths and also like depending on what brand you're getting them from there would be like a one eighth one quarter one half and then a full stop two full stops three full stops four full stops and basically like the the bigger the number is the more dense the diffusion filter becomes but the most common density that a lot of people use is the one quarter or the one fourth but you know there's a lot of brands out there that 
offer or that sell diffusion filters at different prices but in general they all look similar or if not the same the most popular brand that a lot of the creatives use is from tiffin but the one that i have with me is from polar pro they basically give the same results because i've had a tiffin brand before and now i'm using polo pro so you're probably wondering why did i switch to polo pro honestly i just love the uh the brass look that they have on their on their uh filters i don't know it, it, it just looks cool with my nikon cameras because you know nikon's like black and gold but anyways that's that's besides the point what i'm trying to say is that they all look similar anyways no matter what brand you get it just all goes down to like the density of the fusion filter that you use there's also like another filter that i would like to add is called the four point star filter this is actually from tiffin itself and what basically does is it creates that star effect on a light source or anything that's like shining but this four point star filter also acts as a diffusion filter itself it's very similar to the full stop strength of diffusion filter i literally made a whole vlog about this filter a couple weeks back so you should go check that out i mean not right now just after this video i'll, I'll link it at the end but yeah i literally made a whole vlog on this filter so i'm not gonna really explain this filter that much in this video just go watch that vlog <laughs> now number five that's on my list of accessories that photographers should have are the peak design anchors see this little thing that i'm holding this is a peak design anchor i don't know if you can see from the other side of the camera that red circle that's a peak design anchor and what i love about these anchors is that it's easier to remove your you know camera strap a neck strap or a wrist strap or whatever kind of strap you're using because you just literally clip it on and these things are actually really strong they can support up to 200 pounds which is crazy i don't think anybody would be carrying a 200 pound camera around their neck but it says on their website that these anchors support up to 200 pounds so they're really really strong i have like three different camera straps with me so i got one right here this is like a brown leather one this is uh this is the part that also comes with the the package when you buy a peak design anchor uh, this is like the link i think that's what they call it um so you just clip this onto your camera i'm gonna let you guys hear that clicking sound there you heard that click so now it's hooked onto my camera these are like the other the other straps that i have you know i got another strap over here you know it's like deciding what tie you want to wear before you head to your business meeting that's that's what it's like to me i just love it it's, it's very convenient the last part of my list of accessories which is also part of the peak design brand is the, uh, the capture clip i don't know if you can see about the bottom of my camera this little square this little square over here that's a plate and then there's a capture part that you know goes onto your camera bag's shoulder strap so you can literally just clip your camera and then it just stays like this all right so i got my camera bag on me notice how it's, it's just it's, it's it's clipped onto my shoulder strap i really 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 love the peak designs capture clip because it is so much easier to hike around or walk around while shooting you know instead of having it like dangle around my neck which is going to be a pain in the ass or pain in the neck i might say yeah so what i also love about the the plate itself is that it's an arca swiss plate I don't know if that's how you pronounce it right but basically what it does is if you have any tripod heads that are also you know arca swiss compatible you can just mount this on your tripod without having to remove this plate over here essentially you can just keep this plate on the bottom of your camera forever which is very very convenient for me anyways that is all the stuff that i have you guys for today basically the top six accessories that you should have as a photographer if you don't have any of these items yet i recommend you should get these because these are very very convenient and you know essential it will help you in the long run as a photographer and yeah if you like this video please leave a like drop a comment subscribe i'll see you guys later